हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अ स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर यूजिंग ट्रिबल फाइव टाइमर अ स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर इज ए फ्री रनिंग मल्टी वाइब्रेटर व्हिच डज नॉट रिक्वायर एक्सटर्नल ट्रिगर पल्स टू प्रोड्यूस आउटपुट so a stable multi vibrator is a free running multi vibrator which does not require any external trigger pulse to produce output which means once we connect the power supply to the circuit the triple five timer will start producing the output without any trigger pulse here resistor r1 and r2 will drive the entire circuit and it will help in producing the free running output here pin number 6 is a threshold which is input to a non inverting comparator and pin number 2 is a trigger which is input to an inverting comparator so non inverting comparator let us consider that as comparator 1 and inverting comparator let us consider that as comparator 2 we are having a sr flip flop with output q and q bar q is connected to base of the transistor and q bar is connected to output stage where we will be measuring the output signal initially let us assume in a sr flip flop q is equal to 0 then we will have q bar is equal to 1 so this one will appear across output so output will be in high state since q is connected to base of the transistor so this transistor will be cut off since transistor will cut off the voltage vcc will appear across the capacitor hence the capacitor will charge with the voltage vc so this voltage vc will appear as input to both comparator 1 which is non inverting comparator and comparator 2 which is inverting comparator at comparator 1 the input vc will be greater than 2 by 3 vcc hence it will produce the output as 1 at comparator 2 vc will be greater than 1 by 3 vcc hence the output will be zero since output of comparator 1 is 1 this will set the sr flip flop and q will be equal to 1 since q is equal to 1 then q bar will be equal to 0 hence zero will appear across the output as you can observe here initially output was 1 then the output will move to 0 so it will toggle between high and low state now since q is equal to 1 the transistor will turn on once the transistor turn on the capacitor starts discharging hence the voltage vc will reduce the voltage across capacitor vc will reduce since vc is input to both comparator 1 and comparator 2 input across comparator 1 will be vc less than 2 by 3 vcc hence output of comparator 1 will be 0 and across comparator 2 input voltage will be vc less than 1 by 3 vcc for this output of comparator 2 will be equal to 1 since output of comparator 2 is 1 this will reset the sr flip flop and hence q will be equal to 0 and q bar will be equal to 1 so this 1 will appear across the output so as you can observe here initially the output was 1 then it moved to 0 and again 
the output will toggle to 1 and this process will continue and again the output will move to 1 then 0 again it will move to 1. So we can say a stable multi vibrator is a free running multi vibrator which does not require any trigger pulse to produce the output. Once the power supply is applied it will produce the output which will be having both high state and low state. Now let us summarize the operation. Initially we assume the output Q will be equal to 0. Since Q is equal to 0, Q bar will be equal to 1. Hence, we will get a high state at the output. Since Q is equal to 0, which is connected to base of the transistor, the transistor will turn off. Hence, whatever power supply we connect to the circuit, all this will appear across the capacitor C. So, capacitor C will start charging. Hence, the voltage across capacitor will increase. So, the voltage across capacitor will act as input to both comparator 1 and comparator 2. So, here across comparator 1, the voltage Vc will be greater than the voltage 2 by 3 Vcc. Hence, comparator 1 will produce output as 1 and the same voltage Vc will appear as input to the comparator 2. Here Vc will be greater than 1 by 3 Vcc. The output of comparator 2 will be 0. Since comparator 1 output is high, that will set the SR flip-flop. Hence Q will be equal to 1 and Q bar will be equal to 0. That's why the output will move to low state from high state. Since Q is equal to 1 now, that will turn on the BJT. Hence, the capacitor will start discharging. So, once the transistor is turned on, the capacitor will start discharging and voltage across capacitor will reduce. Since the capacitor voltage will appear as input to both comparators. So, in comparator 1, the voltage Vc will be less than 2 by 3 Vcc. That's why the comparator 1 output will be 0. At comparator 2, the voltage Vc will be less than 1 by 3 Vcc. Comparator 2 output will be 1. Since comparator 2 output is 1, that will reset the SR flip-flop. Hence, Q will be equal to 0 and Q bar will be equal to 1. So, this 1 will appear across the output. Hence, the output will move to high state. Now Q is equal to 0 that will turn off the transistor. Since transistor is turned off, the voltage that is applied to the circuit will appear across capacitor and again the capacitor is start charging. So this process will continue and will get the oscillating output across the 3-5 timer. This is about a stable multi vibrator using 3 by 5 timer. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.